I'm Tia Borden with Mining IR, and we are at the 2022 Mines and Money Conference here in London. It's beautiful outside, and joining me is Scott McLean, CEO of Transition Metals. Scott, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, thanks for having me, Tia. Is this your first time at Mines and Money? No, it's not. It's the first time in a couple of years, though. Yeah, it's, it's nice to be back in person and engaging with people. It is, and I find the format excellent. Uh, the, the, the previous format, the trade show sort of format, didn't, wasn't really as effective as this, and this has been a really good meeting for us. I agree with you, and great venue, beautiful yeah. venue. Now, can you tell us, I know you have a couple of projects on the go, one flagship, a couple other projects, can you tell us about that? Sure, I mean, first of all, Transition Metals is a project generator, so we have lots of projects. We have 24 projects that we're working on. Uh, we've got a good cash position, good uh, equity position in the company, and we're a self-funded uh, operation. We don't need to go out and finance, although we would like to uh, if we get the valuations up. Currently, our, our value of the assets are worth about uh, $30 million in our estimation, including $10 million in cash and securities, liquid securities, and we get about an $8 million market cap on the market. So we're going to be putting about $2 million into uh, exploration this, this summer. Uh, the projects that we're going to be working on, as you've asked about, are uh, Maud Lake, which is a nickel-copper PG project uh, near Scriber, Ontario. High-grade nickel at surface and massive sulfides. We've just finished an airborne survey there, uh, which has identified some great drill targets. So that program's starting up next week. And we're going out there and we're going to do some... Uh, uh, open up the, the access, we're going to do some trenching, uh, some geophysics, and then get the drill going later in the summer. We'll also be drilling at our Elmer project near Sudbury, Ontario. That's a big breccia um, body, highly altered, with uh, copper and gold in it. Uh, it's never been drilled before, it's a brand new thing. And uh, we'll be putting about a $400,000 uh, drill program in there, of which the Ontario government's going to pay us $200,000 back, which is nice. Um, currently, one of the, the key projects that gives value to the company is a project called Sunday Lake. It's a platinum palladium project. It's a mineralized body, which is in the size of about 1,500 meters by 800 meters uh, by about 60 meters, up to 60 meters thick. We have grades in there. Uh, best intersection is most likely the 41 meters of five and a half grams platinum plus palladium with very high grades within that. And that uh, project is operated by Impala Canada. And uh, we have, uh, they have a 75% interest and we have a 25% free carry. We're excited about that project. We'd like to see it move forward and it's, it's the real deal. Now Scott, tell us a little bit about your business model and why it differs from other businesses. Sure, uh, it's not different. There are a few project generators out there, but a, a traditional junior tends to have one or two projects. They finance those projects by issuing or selling equity in the company. We try and keep that shareholder uh, dilution to a minimum and only finance when we really have to or when we, uh, when we uh, uh, have a good valuation that allows us to. Instead, we sell interest in the projects. So we have numerous projects. Uh, we bring in partners to work those or purchase those. That finances the, uh, the operation and we're not having to issue, issue equity. We've been in business since 2009. We only have 57 million shares outstanding. And this protects, somewhat insulates the, the investor. It, it mitigates the risk. It, it really um, creates a low uh, shareholder's equity dilution. And we have lots of irons in the fire. We've got 24 irons on the fire right now looking for, uh, looking for discoveries. We've spun out companies with, and provided dividends back to shareholders as well with some of our assets. So it's a wonderful business model. It's uh, not overly appreciated in the market right now, but we are self-sustaining. Uh, we have uh, 30 million in assets, and uh, and we have an 8 million dollar market cap. Wow! Now, can you talk about your team? Obviously, it's super important to have a, a strong team behind yeah. you. Yeah. So we have a strong technical team. Um, the, the management of the, of the company all, have all worked together for many years in our career. We worked together at Falconbridge, which was a large international mining company, and uh, Extrata Nickel. Um, during, that, uh, during that time, we had a great track record, great run together of, of discoveries, uh, have received the Prospector of the Year Award in, in Canada, uh, and we brought that, uh, that, that team out into, uh, to build this company around. Uh, so myself, Greg Collins, and Grant Moore worked together for years, uh, and Tom Hart now has uh, come in and helping out. Uh, we've known him for years. So team really close. We're, we're, we're technically strong. We've recently got the Ontario Discoverers of the Year for, along with Impala. Um, for our Sunday Lake uh, discovery. So good track record, a uh, good technical team. We're all geologists, including myself, although I have limited time now, it seems, to, to go out and bang rocks. And Can you tell us about some of the catalysts that investors should be aware of? Yeah, well, you know, we've been a little quiet in the news flow over the last couple of months, and uh, 
last two or three months. And we're now initiating our, our uh, field program next week. So we anticipate that we're going to have good deal flow, good news flow from those projects uh, for the remainder of the year. We've got a number of deals that we're working on where we're going to be selling some of our assets, bringing more value into the company. And one of the key things that's going to happen is uh, Canadian Gold Miner, which is one of our spin-out companies, still private, will be going public. And at that point, we'll solidify uh, value into the company, uh, crystallize that value, which should be recognized by the market. Scott, you have a busy year ahead of you. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with our viewers? I'd like everybody to just take a look at our company. I try and understand it a little more. It's more complex than a typical junior because of the number of assets we have. But we are self-sustaining. If you put your money into our company now, it's uh, it, it's protected. It has uh, the, the value of the company is essentially the value of our cash and securities. So it's it's a very low risk and has all this upside ahead of us. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it. And for more information, investors can go to the website. Scott, thank you so much for joining me today. Very good. Thank you very much, Tim.